this forever, ever, hold on, never mind. Oh, I. Hi guys, so I'm coming back today with another glossy box opening. I know this actually is a little bit late from when people have received theirs, but uh, I had to wait for my dad to go pick it up from the post box. Postman, Mr. Postman. I'm having a bit of a breakout at the moment, as you can see. And also you may hear clicking, because my boyfriend sat over there playing RuneScape. Did the reveal together. I've been waiting to do this all day, but my boyfriend doesn't want to be in the video, so as soon as he was like, I played RuneScape, I was like, yes, I can record my video. <laughs> As soon as my dad walked in, I was like, I want to open it. Oh, Okay, I love the design on this already. It's got like lovely pastel clouds on it. It's so pretty. And it says daydreamer on it. How cute. I am a daydreamer. So, as per usual. Oh, the ribbon's white this time. It's usually black. And the paper's purple. So let me get rid of the little card. Open it up without totally oh there we go really ripped it paper okay so I'm look at it but I'm trying to make sure that you guys can see the first thing we have is this which is the gel spa just for feet luxury jelly foot soak it's 4.99 Sit back and give your feet a treat. Gel spas. This is vegan friendly, but I actually read it as virgin friendly. <laughs> Jelly foot soak. It's a specially developed powder which turns water to gel. Yes, miracles do exist. That's like that jelly jelly bath thing, isn't it? But the aromas of lavender and lemongrass help you relax after a long day, while the soap gently moisturises and soothes your tired feet. Afterwards, simply add the second step to magically turn the gel back to liquid. Oh, okay. So the benefits, got on the back. Soothes tired, aching feet. Helps with athlete's foot, great. <laughs> Combats fungal issues, lovely. Eases foot odour, all right. Natural eczema treatment. Vegan friendly, not virgin. And safe for diabetics. The diabetics have to have certain things for their feet. True soft shampoo. So, that's what that looks like. This was on the um, the sneak peek from last month. So this is £3.98. This is travel size, obviously. Which is actually pretty decent for a travel size, to be honest with you, because usually they're like this small, and I feel like you're never going to get enough out of that. This is by Maria Mil uh, Nila. Maria Nila. I don't know why I didn't just read it from here. Uh, wash away your worries with this vegan shampoo from the Swedish brand Maria Nila. Sulfate and para paraben free. <laughs> the gentle formula softens, moisturises, and strengthens the structure of your hair with a recipe for super shiny locks and frizzy fighting ingredients. Not frizzy fighting, frizz fighting. So, to be fair, this would probably be good for people that have dyed their hair if it's paraben and sulfate free. Because I remember when I dyed my hair, I had to look for shampoo like that. 100% vegan and cruelty free, softening argan oil, sulfate and paraben free, colour guard complex, complex <laughs> produced in Sweden. One of the other things you have in here is the conditioner. So it's nice that it gave you both. Uh, the conditioner is actually a bit more expensive, it's 4 99 don't know why, because they're the same size. And you use more conditioner. Okay, anyway. Um, this gorgeous conditioner completes your dreamy hair care duo, designed to reduce frizz and the loss of colour associated with washing and heat styling. This is a true multitasker. Try using this as a deep conditioning mask. Apply to damp hair after shampooing and leave on for three minutes before rinsing thoroughly to reveal a shiny, smooth result. I don't understand why... Okay, so the regular, the normal sizes for the shampoo is 12 98 and for the conditioner is 13 99 I don't know why there's that small difference. It doesn't make any sense to me. This next thing is the Trifle Cosmetics Praline Palette. That sounds so cute. Praline. Find a palette of six pigmented eyeshadows in this cute pastel packaging. The intense shades range from a neutral bronze to wearable khaki. Ooh, and deep eggplant. Okay. 
formulated to be creamy yet vivid, these unique powders have a velvety smooth texture and are 100% vegan plus free from any nasties. So, most of these are, I think all of these are vegan friendly, which is good. And this is full size. I think, I don't know, let me double check. Yeah, it's full size. It's £15.55. Why can't I get it open? Got a little Instagram logo on the side. We've got their Instagram on there. I can hear the little crappy brush in there. Move it around. There we go. So that's the packaging on the actual product. Got cute little ice creams on it. Yeah, it's got one of those little sponge brushes. It's got a mirror, so I'm trying to cover that. There you go, that's better. So it does have a nice range of colours. I'll um swatch like the purple for you because purple like darker colours and brighter colours are the best ones to swatch to see the actual colour. Okay, that's pretty decent payoff I reckon. I realised that I put that on the swatch on my um middle finger so it looked like I was throwing at you, I'm sorry. But yeah, if the purple looks like that, I'm sure the rest of them look alright. Let me just I'll do gold. Why not? On yeah, see, that is pretty decent pigmentation. So, I think that's pretty decent. I I don't know when I'd use these, to be honest with you. There's not really a car key. I don't think that's a car key. It doesn't look like car key to me. That looks just like silver. Yeah, that's a silver. That's not car key. So I don't know where this car key is supposed to be. <laughs> it's like a... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I've been lied to. So, it's pretty decent. I forgot to put the brush back in there, but I'm worried about later. For the penultimate thing, is a makeup remover. So, this is by Kushi. Kushi? I, I hope I'm saying that right. Full size. It is £10.50. It says, cleanse your troubles away with this double effect calming makeup remover from Kushi. The clear solution is rich in soft oils and works with the blue solution to remove makeup gently. It will leave your skin feeling refreshed so you can drift off to sleep cleansed and happy. For best results remember to shake before using. I just realised actually when it said that is that it's like got two layers so there's the clear stuff and the blue stuff so I'm just going to imagine if you shake and mix it together and then obviously if I leave it for a while I imagine they're going to separate again. Yeah you can see it starts to separate at the top. Okay. I love stuff like that. Fascinating. I don't know why I get so fascinated so easily, but I do. And then this is tea by We Are Tea. <laughs> this is an extra treat. So we've teamed up with this ethical London based tea company to treat you to one of these relaxing teas. So I've got sleep. Just sink into your pillow and let this herbal infusion of lavender and chamomile melt the pressure away. So I got one sachet. What does that mean? So there's just one thing in there, I imagine. But the regular retail price for 12 bags would be £3.50. If I... I can smell that already. Oh, that sounds grim. <laughs> but yeah, so you just get all the little, you can see all the like the lavender and stuff in there. But it honestly doesn't smell nice. But I might try it tonight. Why not? I can't even put it back in this little bag. <laughs> hey, if it's decent, it's only like 3.9 for 12. Swap wine clock for a delicious cup of sleep. I don't drink wine anyway. Okay. So, I'm actually a lot more impressed with this one than I was than I was last month's. Purely because last month's I had stuff that I'd already tried. So I was a bit, eh. And the stuff that I hadn't, there was only like two things that I was actually excited to try. So I feel like this one I'm actually excited to try a lot more. So the foot soak, I hate my feet. Not because I've got like athlete's foot or anything. <laughs> but I don't know, I've just never been comfortable with the way my feet are, so this might help me feel a little bit more happy with the way my feet feel at least. Makeup remover, I don't really use it. I have 
wipes that I usually use, but obviously if I find a good makeup remover that does the job quickly, then why not? Eyeshadow palette, I always buy eyeshadow palettes even though I don't need them. But I keep adding more to my collection even though, you know, and I probably never use half of them. But it's just in case. In case I see a tutorial and I need that palette. <laughs> Shampoo and conditioner, I'm always excited to try new ones to see anything that will make my hair look a bit healthier. Um, I've just started using the tr one of the Tresemme uh, hair masks because of the damage that my sister bleaching my hair did. Um, but I don't know, hopefully these are pretty good. I think I've seen something to do with these brands before, I recognise the packaging. So I'm hoping that they're decent. I still don't understand the pricing but you know, maybe that's just me. And the tea, I'll give it a go. I don't really care for the flavoured tea, but why not? Hey, if it helps me have a good night's sleep, why not? Um, and I, I just love the box. Look how pretty this is. I love it. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, whether you are thinking about getting this one, what you think about the products, which ones you think are going to turn out great, if you've tried any of this stuff before and what you think about it. Let me know, because I'd be interested to know. I'm probably going to give that eyeshadow palette away actually, you know, just because I probably won't use it. <laughs> it needs a good home. Yeah, I imagine in some video I'll probably mention the use of something of the, out of this and be like, oh my god, I loved it. Like, the baked blush I've been using as a highlighter and I love it. It looks so natural. Honestly, it's amazing. I really love it. The eyeliner I'm going to give to my auntie because I just, I don't like wet look eyeliner. Um, Carmex, I still don't know how to say that. Uh, I have been using, purely because you know it's there, so I might as well use it. Why not? Screw it. The bronzer I gave away. But I have been using a lot of the stuff that I get. Like, I do really thoroughly enjoy testing out stuff that I get in these boxes. Like, I've been using, there's, I've got a exfoliator, a cleanser, I've been using that. I really do like some of the stuff they give me. It's exciting to see what works for me. Um, obviously, this won't. None of this will work for everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you next month when I get my next glossy box, which I'm already excited for. And I hope you guys have had a good May so far. I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Listen.